Today I participated in a webinar offered by the Plum Club. Its title was Understanding Women, Effective Marketing and Sales Strategies to Reach Today's Savvy Female Consumers. I co-presented with Stephanie Holland, the author of the book She Economy. I thought it was interesting that the thing that people seem most challenged by wasn't what I expected. I thought that people would struggle with the idea that women have spending power and make the important spending decisions, but that seems to be pretty well accepted. Rather, the thing people struggle with is getting into the perspective of their customer. And if that's the case, this is a barrier to sales success, not just for selling to women, but for selling to anybody. In fact, one person asked the question, so, if our goal is to sell to women according to what is important to them, how do we approach value? And what they meant was, how do we sell into higher value goods from a lower value starting point, like taking someone up from a half carat to a three quarter carat diamond? Now, yes, I know that jewelry sales teams have been taught that the holy grail of sales is to get a customer to buy a bigger diamond than the one they came in for. But honestly, that's not looking at value from the customer perspective. That's looking at value from the seller perspective, which is the opposite of what we're talking about. So your job isn't to sell a bigger diamond than the one she came in for, because that may not represent what value is at all to her. Does that mean you give up and stop selling? No, it just means that you have to take the time to figure out what she does value and deliver as much of that as you can. When selling to men, the good, better, best approach is pretty effective. Men fixate on the thing that they're buying and they want the best version of that thing for the money. But when selling to women, good, better, best is not the path to higher sales. You have to figure out what better and best mean to your female customers. And the answer will often lie in a related item rather than in a bigger or better version of the one she already likes. Or it could be a discount for her if she brings in a friend who purchases, or help figuring out a gift she's been struggling with buying. One of the attendees after the session, her name's Alicia Naru, she summed it up perfectly in a message she, that she sent to me on LinkedIn after the webinar. She said, my biggest takeaway is that jewelry is not just about a beautiful product, but what that product represents to the female buyer and how to effectively communicate that to her. So there you go. Figure out what jewelry means to your female buyers and they will lead you right to the upsell. You won't even have to work that hard for it. Anyway, thanks to the Plum Club for offering this webinar for free to our industry. It's a great service. And that's it for now. I'll talk to you soon.